Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Xenon Racer, a kind of futuristic arcade racing game that I got to send a code to. So thank you very much to the developers for sending me one. I get a little chance to play around with this game a bit early. Uh, <laughs> I love the cars in this. I'm just going to start out by saying the cars are fantastic. Um, it's always interesting to see where we go for kind of like mad. This follows a kind of fictional, futuristic race series where everyone's gone a little bit mad with their vehicles. And I feel like that is, in many ways, the most spectacular thing. I'm loving it. There's so much carbon fiber work going on to the side of this one that I've not noticed before. From the back, it's very much a Vulcan. From the back, it does, you know, you've got very much Aston Martin Vulcan feel. Mad diffusers, but a Vulcan feel. And then you go to the sides, and there is just this tendril of carbon fiber going up the side. And then we go to the front, and then it looks like a slightly squished fish. Uh, <laughs> I mean... I'm afraid once I saw that, it, it's stuck now. It shall be the Fishy Vulcan. It shall be its official designation. I don't think it is its official designation. I can't remember the name of the car. But it shall forever be the Fishy Vulcan. Uh, now, we are going to go to a circuit. We're going to do like a quick a quick race rather than go through the career and so on. Uh, I've only unlocked... I've only got two of these for uh, quick races, apparently. Sure, shall we go to the really difficult circuit? That's not going to go badly wrong for me at all. Um... Don't, don't think we have rain. <laughs> and there we go. Sure, let's go here. And I'll give you a rundown of the various vehicles. As I said, there's some fantastic ones. Uh, so we start off with what is a fairly... I guess it's kind of a modern equivalent... A, a futuristic muscle car kind of thing. Compared to the other vehicles, it's a muscle car with little antennas. And more impressive aero work along the side. Quite impressive aero work along the side. Uh, then we have a slightly upgraded, slightly faster version of that. Then we have the Fishy Vulcan. Uh, then there are some cars I have locked currently uh, that, I mean, I'm not... It's an interesting looking bit of car, more fancy carbon work on the side of this crazy contraption. I guess that's a faster... That might be probably the fastest versions of the cars. And then we move to this. Look at the wings at the back of this. Uh, also, this is a slight transformer. We'll probably drive this one. Uh, it just starts moving around. Uh, we've got everything exposed at the back. Engine. Uh, I mean... I say engine. I mean, it looks like an engine with a vague supercharger style on top, but I think all of these stuff is electric. Um, you'll see what I mean when we start racing. Many exhaust Maybe the hybrids. I don't know. I don't quite know the tech that goes into them. That Looks cool. Can't see it. Um, that looks like that looks like it's on a normal LMP wing going on. Yeah, there are a fair few cars. Oh, that we haven't unlocked. Here we have the American version of the Fishy Vulcan. Uh, <laughs> it's got carbon fiber spikes on the back. I don't know what aero purpose they serve. Maybe, oh, maybe there is a little hinge in them that you can fire them out sideways. And actually, you can use them as I say wheel spikes. They're so high, I don't think you could actually clip anybody's wheels with them. Just scrape paintwork. That's what it is. I mean, it doesn't really have a real wing, so to speak. It's got a massive fin. Everything, the cars are customizable, and so on. Uh, it doesn't really have a... Look at the... <laughs> we've got carbon shapes occurring, and then we've got that face. Um, more of a grimacing fish, this one. Uh, but we have my personal favourite. This is what happens if you have a Ferrari meets a duckbill platypus. It's brilliantly wacky. And if you're going to be doing futuristic cars, don't go for the boring straightforward. Oh, and it's also not just a duckbill platypus crossed with the Ferrari. Is it the... whatever the new one? The Pista? Is it the one? The 4... 8? I don't know. The one with the strange front end. Um, and then we've not only got a handle in the middle, most spectacularly of all, yes, it's a jet engine's. It is a Ferrari duckbill platypus with two jet engines stuck on the back. I'm not even sure in my imagination I would have come up with this vehicle. And I'm, I love that. Uh, <laughs> I love, I love you've got the old... God, what was the Jag that had the old, like, covered rear wheels? I can't remember the name of the very, very famous prototype race car that I have seen a few times. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's bonkers. And I love it. And as I said, these are customizable. There's a faster version that I would love to know what that looks like. And this one here has, looks like it's got a... It looks like an LMP car with a cockpit at the front, and God knows what's going on from the front. Look at the towers of wings! It is very impressive. Then shall we go grab the... We'll grab the duckbill platypus Ferrari jet. Do you know, I've said many strange phrases in my time on YouTube. That might be the weirder one, to be saying. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, the vehicle design is fantastically wacky and great, great fun. Uh, I mean, it's not the, the, the largest car list you'll ever come across, but there are some interesting ones. There'll be some other ones probably in this race that uh, I haven't seen or I, I wasn't able to look at in the menus. Uh, now, as I said, start, this is very much an arcade, ooh, an arcade racer. However, uh, it is not uh, all straightforward to do. Yes, we have got a vague kind of tap brake to drift, although it will depend on what car you're driving as to how responsive it's going to be, and your upgrades will make a difference as to how the vehicles work. There is a boost system as well, where we can drive across those boost pads to pick up an instant, or like fill up one of the battery bars, uh, and we can drift to, or to, to fill up the rest. Um, now, I am not really sure where I'm going. Whoa, it's, I have actually a big slowdown here, because it's a very tight corner, so I'm not sure I'm safe firing off the boost, because these cars are very, very fast. And unlike a lot of futuristic races, uh, this game doesn't shy away from technical circuits. There's a reason why I picked this track in particular to run, whoops, uh, <laughs> to run through here, is that yes, there are some fast tracks. There are some fast tracks, there are some tracks where you don't really need to slow down all that much, and just tapping the brake will get the car around. There are some where that's not the case at all. In fact, there's one track I'm currently stuck on in the career mode. I have got this with the AI whacked on the highest difficulty. Oh, no, that's not going to... I'm not going to make that corner. I was goofed it entirely. I think the AI behind me crashed as well, so that's fine. Um, there are some really, really fiddly circuits. Ah! Excuse me! How very rude of you. How could you batter the duck build platypus Ferrari? The Ferrari build platypus. Ferrari jet build? I don't know. I've got There's a good name in there somewhere. I've just not come up with it as of yet. I'm aware I can boost. I'm also aware there's a lot of... Oh, no, you're a... But I don't even know what you are. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Whatever you may be, uh, I do I do like it. I might have fired that a little bit excitedly. And now there's a big corner coming up and we have a panic and try and we slow the car down again. There we go. Oh, we've got movable aero bits on this. I've just noticed there's blinky lights on the top. I don't know what they are informing us of. And then we have the Wara style, I guess. Well, I guess what? I say Wara style. <laughs> Uh, I think it's just like a go over a certain speed. No, please turn out. No, that's a wall. Never mind. Oh, I was going to show you the transform car. Let, let, let me forget that. I say that as if you guys are going to be able to remind me telepathically when we go to do the next thing. Uh, <laughs> we've fallen to third. Uh, I haven't really... Been, it, it was a good start to the race, and then it's kind of fallen away a little bit. Yeah, the uh, the AI are bloody fast. Uh, we used to go... Well, they can be fast. Some of the circuits, um, they struggle on a bit more. Uh, some of the circuits, you can run away a little. I don't know whether it's... I'm just better at some circuits or not. I, I mean, wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing is a little bit less like tapping up against the AI on here. From what I have seen, they do tend to spread themselves out a little bit more. You'll probably find somewhere to fit into the field in all of them. You might be able to have a little bit of close racing. Uh, whoa, I've not really got that corner right. Neither is the AI ahead of me, though. So that's why I, why did I go for the boost there? Because I've got a corner coming up. Accelerate. Uh, might have gone, they should have gone for the boost. I've uh, gone for the boost after the hairpin. You know what? We'll have a fight for a second. Uh, yeah, actual actual wheel to wheel race is a little bit more difficult to, I say, to find in here. You do get it from time to time. It depends on how good you are with the car, what car you're running, if you've got the right car for the right track, etc. I was briefly close to the leader at one point, and he seems to have gone a very long way away. Well, he's winning this race. I am not. Uh, you will also notice in the lower left hand corner, there is a damage bar. Yeah, you cannot get away. I didn't get away with that corner. I don't. I like just instinctively grab the uh, boost button if I clonk something to try and get me going again, which is probably quite dangerous at a very technical circuit here. Oh, you're going to slither up the inside, aren't you? Here we go. Um, yeah, I think what I'm what I'm doing wrong with the handling a little bit is. Uh, you, so the cars are very, very grippy. This is again, it's supposed to be a futuristic series. You've got all these high-tech cars. Uh, the vehicles are very grippy uh, for normal cornering. If you do want to get them sliding around, you kind of tap, you tap brake once, and it will get the car going. However, my brain, because it doesn't immediately go, my brain thinks, "Oh, I've not done it," so I keep tapping brake, and then we just don't steer. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the issue. I, I, I say that that's the issue I have. That's my fault. That's not the game's fault. Yeah, I'm going to do it again there, aren't we? Uh, it's just... Because I was going at the corner with such speed uh, that I needed it to slide, and I was already committed and we pinged a wall. Uh, go away. I quite like the little... Like, I guess the simplistic rear-view camera up the top. Quite a clever way of doing it. Um, you know, you've got the little... Gra I, don't know, I don't even know what to call it. Like, hologram, essentially. Uh, showing you stuff behind. I guess it's a it's a clever way of doing it without uh, having to I guess, sacrifice any performance power or whatever to the game. You can see exactly where the cars are. You know what they're doing, um, and it's kind of minimal intrusiveness up at the top. You know, you can still see the interesting scenery going on behind. Well, not 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 a bad looking game uh, whatsoever. There's some very interesting circuits that I have driven around. As I said, some very very 
challenging ones. Oh, that's way too fast. I've bulged that up. <laughs> Panic. There we go. We'll just hold on for dear life on the boost again. Well, we are really definitely, definitely not winning this race. Uh, we're at 49 health. It is quite easy if you're a bit of a muppet and make a couple of mistakes to get your car quite poorly and have to kind of nurse it back through the final stage. Even on these shorter races, I kind of nurse the car back to the finish line, which, I mean, is a scary time if you are the driver of said car. Oh, we've not really got... I've not really got that one. I still can't do that. Why can I not do that corner? I was doing it earlier, fine, but apparently that is too much. My brain... Trying to get the right combination of buttons pressed for that corner is not going well in my brain. There we go. Don't tap brake too many times, please. I'm a Muppet. Oh, I, I want to use boost here, but I, like, I'm not confident enough that I can get, thread the car through these corners while firing the boost, because I'm going to do, do that when I'm not firing the bloody boost. Thankfully, the AI behind me, pushing to try and catch up, has also gone into the wall as well, and now my car is quite poorly. Please tell me this race is coming to an end soon, game. Because uh, I don't know if I'm going to survive it. We will slither our way. I'm well aware the batteries are ready, but I am not. I guess I'm going to have to be here, because that car behind may well go for a boost as well. And, oh, we can pig away off that wall a little bit. I'm at 23 health. I think I got away because I didn't hit those too hard. Oh, that's down to 21. Hey, we'll finish on 21 health. Perfect numbers and everything. Christ, that car got close. Well, that was... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we did it. We held on. I scratched up the front of the duckbill platypus Ferrari, but it's actually quite quite badly scratched. But there we go. Um, yeah, the races are quite or can be quite bloody intense around it. I was a long, long way down. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Basically, I'm terrible. That's uh, yeah. I can, I can definitely. There's definitely a lot more speed in the car. You can see some of the really cool vehicles in the. Um, in the loading screens and whatnot, uh, we wanted to have a look at the transforming car. Now I don't know if any of these, any of the other vehicles, have got. Uh, if we go for an easier track, nope, apparently not. You know what? I know where I can go for an easier track. So this is the career mode, championship mode. If you like, you go through with various objectives. I mean, I'm quite early on in this. I guess you go up to a lot of uh, different races over here. Oop, and then you can go off down this way. And there's a lot of races to go and be go and be doing. Uh, somewhere over here. There we go. There's the there's the there's the final. It's one lap at the Dubai Festival. God, that must be a long track. Uh, I I don't know how long the races get further along. But I'm probably gonna be quicker just to back out of that, and well, maybe not because we go through the whole. Yeah, I don't know. It would be a long way getting me back, so I'm just gonna be lazy and hope that that does the trick. Oh bugger! You know what? I guess I sh should have just gone back. Really. Uh, <laughs> All the way back we go. Yeah, I'm not very far through all of this. So, uh, this is the one I wanted to show you. The Shanghai Airport. And I like this track. This track's good fun. Uh, unvo I say unfortunately. I guess we're not going to be able to show the Transforming Car because it's a one-mic race for this thing. Um, before we go and do that then, I was hoping I could change the cars, upgrade the car. Oh, we're going to go through here again. I thought you stayed down. Oh, no, because I'm going to go to the garage. I'm just going to put the car down again. <laughs> You know what? We'll just show off the lovely lift animation, shall we? We'll just go for the go for the lift animation stuff. Right, so, customization on the vehicles. You have got liveries, paints for the valve. That should still show me the wing, uh, which I haven't unlocked. So you have to go through complete the various championships to unlock bits and pieces. Uh, now, you can paint the liveries whatever colour you wish. So, if you want to go for a... Oh, for a matte blue... Perhaps that is what you are after. I don't think I've, I haven't unlocked the matte paint yet, but if you want to go for a matte blue... Oh, no, I have got the matte paint unlocked. A uh, blue and orange. Perfect. Maybe we'll go for a... Have we got, like, a chrome... Perfect! Look at that! And then I want more chrome orange on my car. Uh, <laughs> should we go for just the wrong shade of orange, just to annoy people? Perfect! Perfect. And more shininess? More shininess is good, I feel, in this instance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can you can paint around with them. Uh, there are custom wheels of which some are mad. Uh, let's say, oh no, these are the tires. Sorry, they're the tires, and you can you can have. Uh, this is going to be the most hideous vehicle it is, is ever there has ever been. Uh, actually, no, I played Midnight Club and chat helped build cars. That still wins for most hideous vehicle. Um, we <laughs> you can then change the rims. Uh, there are some fantastically peculiar, futuristic -y style ones. I mean, these are just normal wheels, or you can go for... Sure, we'll go for mech split wheels. Uh, now, I don't think I have any of this stuff unlocked. 
sadly for this car, but you can get different front wings, so you can go for full platypus if you wish going on there, uh, or you can have the standard ones, all sorts of various different shapes, uh, we can get middle wings, now these do affect the vehicle's performance as well, as you can see from the little graph at the side, I guess that's kind of enclosing a bit of that, or change, yeah, okay, the side wings on this aren't the most spectacular, uh, I think because the rest of the car's wacky, so if you want more Top, you want more acceleration, you can go for that. If you want more top speed, you can go for that. But it loses a crap ton of acceleration if you go for that. And then the back wings. Now, there are some mighty impressive. I don't know what this is going to have on it. Um, oh, good God, that is a wing position right there. That's like a trailer for your wing. It gives it an awful lot of acceleration and drift, but the handling goes to pot. Uh, <laughs> And you kind of, I guess you could like counteract, wow, those tyres are very green when you look at them from the back. Didn't quite appreciate how green the tyres were. Lovely stuff. I mean, it's an eco car. I think. Uh, <laughs> so there's some mad, uh, I mean, the, the trailer for your wings impressive. There are some other massive wings that have gone on cars. Uh, I, I generally love the customization. Oh, we can do something with, oh, we can change the window colour if we want. Hold on. We're going for full multicoloured of, well, what shade do we want now on top? Maybe a hot pink? That will, that will do nicely. Uh, a hot pink shininess. Perfect stuff. And I don't know what the ERS actually, what we can change on this. Um, Alright, okay, so the boost. The boost that we use uh, further down the line, you can change the speed that it goes to, or you can have it fire boost for longer, but not as fast, etc. That's pretty cool. I've just realised I've done all this. I'm not actually going to be driving this car, am I? <laughs> you know what? You can just... You will, you will be safe with the knowledge that this exists somewhere. That Oh, there's a photo mode as well. For this beautiful contraption, I know what the thumbnail image is going to be. <laughs> uh, do you, Yes, I do want to confirm the changes. Uh, there is no currency to worry about in this. All cars and parts are unlocked as you progress through the championship. Uh, so I'm going to go down the lift again. With this, the mechanic might not be happy, but... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. Shanghai Airport. This is where we wanted to race. I quite like this circuit. This circuit's good fun. And I might... So I, I, I seem to be fairly okay around here. Uh, the AI were not as fast when I, when I did this race earlier. Uh, here we go. So yeah, one mic race, everybody in, I think, identical cars. Probably. Possibly. Um, so yeah, this, unlike the previous circuit that we went to, is a relatively fast track. I mean, there are still some fiddly sections that you have got to be... I say fiddly sections, places you've got to be aware of. Uh, but most of it can be done... Whoop. If you get it right, oh no, I'm not got it right there because I've I okay, left it off power. I should have just I should have just held <laughs> held the boost. And there's also a lot of these uh, refill pads around this circuit, so you can always be on the boost the entire time. I think that's kind of really what you want to aim for. Oh, not got that turning point correctly. Yeah, that's a massive wing you've got going on the back of that car. Uh, <laughs> it's a very impressive wing that they had on the back there. Uh, really, you want to be on the boost. Christ, that's some like did nobody stop air traffic while we were racing on the. Circuit? No? No, we're just letting the the planes buzz the sir. I feel like that's unsafe, but who am I who am I to to judge? Uh, we will chuck that car into the hairpins. There we go. And <laughs> once you get it right, it's very, very rewarding. And this car here does work quite nicely for this whole uh, so this this sort of section. The wide open it kinda reminds me a little bit of I say we're racing on a sort of air a, a wobbly airfield, reminds me of some of the uh, Formula E circuses, and the fact that this one's wide enough to actually overtake on. So maybe not. Uh, and then we look at the other few. That's a big something. I mean, it's a plane of some description. Like, I am aware it's a plane. It's a <laughs> funky looking plane, of course. Um, and then we go and boost our way Ooh, through the tunnel, ping that. And. Oh, no. Forgot about that bit there. We got away with it. Just. Are they hovering police cars? I mean, that would make a GTA 5 police chase interesting. If you give the police hover cars. There are, like, hover trains going on. I mean, there's, there's like a... There's like a maglev train going on through the loops over there. I mean, I kind of want to race that. Can I, ra <laughs> can I race a maglev train <laughs> around around Shanghai Airport? Uh, that would be fun. Whoa. I've overshot there. No, I got away with it. Ha-ha! And then we boost. I should probably be I should probably be abusing the boost way more here, actually, if I want to go for a really fast lap, because I know there's another boost pad coming up here that we can run over. I have to run over the boost pad, I think, with all four wheels to get the boost. It is possible to miss them, and some of them are quite awkwardly slash cleverly placed to try and make you... If you're going to get them, you have to really kind of deviate from the racing line. 
if you like, to try and get your vehicle into a position. I wonder where all of their many, many containers are going on the hover trains. Hover cargo? I don't know what, they, what they're doing, but they're doing something. They're doing important work, I am sure, uh, carrying goods around the airport. We've still got all of the bars boost full, so let's just abuse that some more. This could be quite a quick lap, I suspect. <laughs> And I say that, I might be doing complete crap. Maybe maybe could have waited a little bit to fire that, but there we go. And up towards the next boost pad, and there we have it. Uh, now, there is multiplayer for this one. I haven't had a chance to have a go with that. I'm also playing it a little bit before, before launch, if you like. Uh, I think by the time this video comes out, it still won't quite be released. There was a beta, if I remember rightly, for this. So some of you may have had a had a go on this one. Um, yeah, I don't quite know what the multiplayer is like. There is split screen, which is nice to see. You don't really see split screen very often these days in games. Not that it's a feature that I use myself all that much, but it is a nice thing to have. It's a nice thing to have. I, you know, I understand, of course, that most games are... Most multiplayer stuff is now done online and whatnot, but it is nice to have a game that, uh, that can offer some split-screen racing, if you so choose. Uh, now, can we get this section right through here? Well, it's a little iffy, but <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like the handling on this game, of course, this is a full-on, full-on arcade game. It's very rewarding when you get things right. Some of the circuits are going to take a bit of work. It's not quite as savage as, you know, the likes of, of Red Out and those sort of, like, almost anti-gravity racers. It's not as fast, and the circuits are not as... You must learn every single millimetre of it if you want to get around the circuit in one piece. It's not quite that level of... Uh, of insanity really. However, if you are going to want to try and go quick, if you want to be getting you know, the really fast times, there are various bits and pieces of the handling model that you are going to have to learn to. It's like, hell, if you have to get through the career on the higher difficulties, I it's still a race that I cannot figure out for the life of me how to get the speed around the circuit because it's constant cornering. And there's, like, here it's constant cornering, but it's nice and wide so I can chuck the car around like this. And it's, it's good fun. It's just fun throwing the car about when you've got... Uh, well, so when you've got this much space. But I know what I'm doing roughly on this circuit and can really throw it around. It's great fun. When you get it right, it's good fun. It does take some I've been boosting there, I don't know why I wasn't. It does take a little bit of a little bit of learning the circuits. It isn't just a straightforward, there's infinite grip uh, to get around the turns. So yeah, I've I've been having a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with this one. Oh, we've got one more lap to go. That was a 38.2. Come on, can we go any faster? I'm actually out of boost going towards turn one. So I don't know. <laughs> Basically, I think I might have used all of the good boosting on that previous lap. As I said, we're miles ahead of the AI here because I think I've got the boosting sorted and they are... Whoop, I say that as I ping a wall. Nope, it's all gone wrong. Panic and fire the turbo boost. That's probably not the good... Probably not a good attitude to take if things are going wrong. Just fire the boost and get more speed. Oh, I missed that boost over there because I didn't get the car sideways around. This is not as good of a lap. And there's probably also ways of kind of maintaining more corner speed. through Some of these hairpins, I'm aware, I'm probably turning in a little too sharp. And we're just scrubbing off a bit of speed. If you want, perhaps, if you want the maximum speed through all of these corners, um, you are going to want to maybe not scrub off quite as much speed. Uh, I don't know. You get lovely, like, it's certainly with this car. Different cars, some cars dislike the drifting more, and they're a lot, a lot bulkier, a lot more fiddly to get through the corners. With this car here very easy to position it exactly where you want it almost in these in these drifts and yeah if I want to go for just a little shallower line for example I don't know if I wanted to there particularly in terms of lap time but if I need if I need to take a much tire line or want to try and open a corner up yeah it's a great it's a great car to drive um, so yeah it's, it's at the end of the day are the, are the handling physics fun to drive with yes are all the cars a uh, experience to try and get used to most definitely and the tracks are technical enough in some places to be quite the challenge the AI, you can have some very good... You can have some very exciting races, actually. You can be doing quite a lot of battling, as we saw in that first one. You can have this if you are very fast. Um, we are... Oh, there's another 38-something through all of that. Um, yeah. Some some things can be bloody tough. And I'm, I'm glad that there are some very technical circuits. It'll be a tough one to learn. It will be a tough one to learn some of them, get the hang of them. However, that's, you know, I'm, I like that there's the option of not just gone for all flat out. That is a very, that's a very uh, <laughs> pretty livery on the fishy, the fishy Vulcan. Um, so yeah. Oh, we actually got some more rewards for that. Oh, cool. I don't know what that reward was. Is that a reward for this car? 
Should we go? Should we do one blast just just for just just for good luck? Shall we test out the lift once more? At some point, I'm going to break it, and it would be very funny. Uh, <laughs> vehicle. I guess I got one another upgrade for this. Um, what did we unlock? Uh, oh, that's just those. Uh, have we got a new front wing option for this? Oh, we do. There's a hole in my. Sp Does that have an arrow purpose? There's a lot going on on the front end of this car. I'm not going to lie. And there's a hole in my splitter. I feel like that's not quite the solution I was wanting. What sort of fins are? Ooh. Ah, we can get more fit, more fins are more good. We know this. We know, we know this. And at the back, oh, we haven't got. Oh, I have. Oh, no, I haven't got that unlocked either. Just the just the end plates are the same, but the, wow, that's a. I think I might have seen that on a car somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Tis a mad thing. Tis a mad thing. The cars are fantastic, as I say. The cars are bonkers. Oh, we've unlocked all the different ERS options, so we could go for more speed, less duration, etc. On there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic cars. I thoroughly, thoroughly uh, enjoy the, the vehicle design. And good fun, to, good fun to race. Tricky to master, I suspect. And some of the career mode does get really bloody difficult if you keep the difficulty uh, turned up high because you're driving very quick cars around quite narrow, quite technical circuits in places. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying my time. I'm enjoying my time, even if I'm not the best at this sort of game. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.